Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how I made some winter themed air dry clay tapered candle holders. So let's just get started. Okay guys, so for our first project, we're going to make a set of snowman candle holders. So grab your choice of clay and roll out a circle for the snowman's head. You should end up with something that looks like this. So grab some more clay and roll out another circle for the snowman's body. And this time make sure that this one is a little bit bigger than the snowman's head. Now that I have the snowman's head and body done, I'm going to attach them together. So I'm just going to score the clay and then I'm going to stick them onto each other. This is looking good, so now I'm going to take a tapered candle and I'm going to press it up against the top of the snowman's head and this is going to let me see how much clay I need to carve out of the top of the head and I'm doing this because this is going to be where we're going to stick our candles in. Here, I'm just sticking the candle back in the hole to make sure that I made it big enough. And then I did move the candle around just to make it a little bit bigger since air dry clay shrinks and we want our candle to still fit in there once this is dry. All right, so now that that's good, I'm gonna add the little face and arms to the snowman. Okay, this one's good, so now I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to move on to our second snowman and we're going to do basically the same steps. This time, instead of doing a circle for the body, I'm going to take a lump of clay and make it look like our snowman's body has melted. And I saw a melted candle like this on Pinterest, which is what inspired this snowman. And I thought, oh my gosh, this would be so cute as a candle holder. I like the shape and I'm just going to smooth everything out with some water and then attach my two pieces together. By the way, to carve out the clay, I'm using a loop tool, sometimes known as like a sculpting tool or a ribbon tool. Now that I'm done with this, I'm going to let it dry. Three days later. Here are the snowmen dry and now I'm going to paint them. Lastly, I'm going to seal both of the snowmen with Deco Arts triple thick gloss glaze.
Okay guys, so for our second set of candle holders, I'm going to make some snowy mushroom tapered candle holders. And I'm going to be using a bunch of different clays to make these because I need to finish these up. So if the clay colors look different, that's why. Grab some clay and roll out the stem for your mushroom. You can make it thinner or you could make it thicker or taller or shorter. And that's the best thing about mushrooms is that they come in so many different shapes and sizes and they always look funky. So you can't go wrong with this. Grab some more clay and make the mushroom cap and like I said the shape could be anything you want and then I am using some water to blend out the clay. Now I'm going to attach my stem to the cap and so I'm just going to stick them onto each other and then I rolled out a coil of clay and placed it around the stem and the cap and then I used a modeling tool to blend everything in together. And I am using some water to smooth everything out just a little bit more. That looks good, so now I'm going to take my tapered candle and press it against the cap to see how much clay I need to carve out. I grabbed my candle to stick it back into the hole to make sure that I made the hole big enough and I did wiggle it around just to make the hole a little bit looser like we did with the snowmen. Grabbing some more clay, I'm going to add the scales onto my mushroom. Okay, so now that this mushroom is done, I'm going to set this aside to dry. I'm going to move on to my second mushroom and we're going to do the same steps. Although this mushroom did come out looking different because I wasn't worried about making them look the same. I wanted them to look different. Now that this mushroom is done, I'm gonna let this dry. 346 minutes later. Here are the mushrooms dry, and now I'm gonna paint them. I'm going to seal the mushrooms using Deco Arts Triple Thick Gloss Glaze. I waited for the sealer to dry and then I took some clear Elmer's glue and I painted it on some parts of the mushroom and then I just sprinkled on some faux snow that I got from Dollar Tree to give the mushroom its snowy look and then I did the same thing to the other mushroom and then yeah we're done.
All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys try this out and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.